What's up, y'all? This your girl, Goma. I've come at y'all to show you guys how I use the virgin hair fertilizer in my hair. A lot of people always ask me, do I still use virgin hair fertilizer? Only because I haven't made a video update. And, you know, y'all have been slacking on my videos due to health issues and, you know, mental health issues or whatever. And so, but now I'm trying to get back on track with my videos, y'all. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who has ever donated to me it any any way shape or form by donating or buying a bonnet or what however sending it to my paypal my gofundme just anything i just appreciate you guys support so much i love you guys thank you so much moving right along to the next to the video okay now how i use virgin hair fertilizer is um First of all, let me show the new people or people who are not familiar with or never have never heard of virgin hair fertilizer. The virgin hair fertilizer that I use looks like this. It says virgin, not virgo, has the red top. And I always buy it uh, from Amazon. And that's what it looks like right there. And it's in this tube. And I always take it out of my tube because I don't like the tube. Now, y'all been following me for a while. Y'all know I actually started off melting my virgin hair fertilizer out of the tube and putting it putting it in a container like this. Then, which I would have to, before I used it, put it in a hot cup of water. Put the water in the microwave. Put this in the hot cup. Well, this is Jamaican black casserole, but I'm just saying. Put it in a hot cup of water and same kind of bottle and let it melt every time before I use it. So I got tired of that and it was starting to get messy. So if you do watch my videos, you know I did an update on the virgin hair fertilizer tube again and how I actually love it more this time because it was just messy. Like you can't get all your money for about this tube. This is a tube got like $10. So y'all know I depotted it and put it into this. So these are the containers that I now have for my virgin hair fertilizer. I have been using that one. This is what the new one the one that I have not used look like once you melt it out of the jar and dump it in here. So, that's a whole nother video. I'm going to find that video or whatever and link it below. So, this is my favorite way of keeping my virgin hair fertilizer in that container. And then I can get all of my fingers in there with no problem. So, anyways, y'all, I'm going to take my scarf off. And I, I've already moisturized and sealed my hair. Um, so, that is not a problem. I moisturized and sealed my hair. And it looks like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just simply apply my virgin hair fertilizer. Now, I moisturize and seal my hair at night. I do not apply my virgin hair fertilizer at night. Y'all know I've been on... I go on and off with my virgin hair fertilizer because um, I probably take a couple months off and I won't use it for a while. And then I'll... Uh, start over and start using it again because sometimes I get tired of it but I, it does work but um I just take this I take three fingers three fingers dip it in now now three fingers is enough to get me a part I mean get my whole part done like in between my braid so I just get my whole finger I don't plop all my fingers down at one time like i want to put all three of my fingers right here i hope y'all can see what i'm talking about i put a finger here and i slide then i slide then i slide the other finger and then i just rub it down my whole you know hair shaft uh hair scalp or whatever you want to call it and i get a little bit more and i put it up there in the roots in, in the, at the base of the ponytail or whatever and i just keep doing that three fingers and i slide it up there Slide it up in there like that. And I put my virgin hair fertilizer on in the morning. Simply because there's no reason for me. I don't work. So I put my virgin hair fertilizer in my hair in the morning time. Simply mainly because. Simply mainly Chad. Um, I don't like. It tingles a lot. Like because it has peppermint in it. Um, it tingles a lot. Like intense. <laughs> girl. It's, it feels good. But. I don't like to go to bed with my hair tingling and I don't like the smell of it. It's kind of strong. So, and I don't want to put all that crap on my pillows either. I just keep putting it in my hair like that. Go down my whole part, make sure it's in there. And, um, and I do this every day, every, every day, uh, every other day or every day. Lately, I've been doing it every day and, um, I put it 
through all of my parts. And I know these braids look like they need to be redone, but it's a hair growth journey, so we're going to roll with it, alright? So, I do that, and then, same thing with the back. I do that, and like I said, the reason I don't um, do it at night is because I don't like to sleep sleep with that tingling sensation. I can handle it during the daytime a whole lot better. And for for those of you guys who work in the daytime or whatever, um, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this in the daytime. If you got a lot of coworkers that's close up on you and stuff, but they don't smell it good. They don't smell it, and it ain't no like, ooh, that smell good. It ain't that kind of smell. It's like a um. It's not stank, but if you're used to using sulfur 8, like when you was little or whatever, or if your mama ever used sulfur 8 in your house, um, when you was little, now I don't take my ponytail down, that's what this smell like, kind of like a strong sulfur 8. I stick my finger through the ponytail to get at the base of where that ponytail sits, so I can get it in there. You know, don't leave your ponytail hanging, you know, get it up in there too, because you want that part of your hair to grow, you know, from your scalp, so... I stick my finger, I try to stick my finger between some of the braids and get in there and I rub it around so it can get, you know, that, that whole circular section in there. And I go in from a couple different angles and try to get it in there. Ooh. And that's how I get that in there while I have my braids in. So, now I got my braids in. So I take my hands and I try to massage it in like sack because I put it in this way so i try to massage it going this way so that way it'll bring it up under that braid you know it'll bring the virgin hair fertilizer up under the braid you know try to get that in there so if you do work in the daytime do this at night i recommend and, and make sure you sleep on some good covers or make sure you get a bonnet from me on my website go to creations.webs.com because the bonnet keeps all of this in and the grease off of your pillows that's what works for me you won't have no messy pillow and uh the bonnet is able to withstand everything you just did to it so my hair is already moisturized and sealed i got my virgin hair fertilizer on and um i wraps it up i wraps it up now if i'm going somewhere we do a whole nother step because i have to lay and slay my edges so we're gonna do that after only on the days I go somewhere. I don't I don't worry about my edges. If I ain't going to well, my edges pretty much look like this. Because y'all know I sit home all day. So why am I going to be here with my edges slayed uh, when I ain't going to well? Girl, I can use name edge control for uh, another day. I'm not wasting all my products. So I tie it up. And I walk around the house all day looking like I'm looking. Like this. Okay. And... This thing still tends to come off. Every scarf I have just always come off, whatever. Um, and so I put my bonnet kindly. I pull this part right here down too, y'all. This and I pull it so that way it'll pull all of this and it'll hold my braids down. And I just give this a little twist and slide it up on the y'all don't even know how bad my hands hurting for real oh my god just doing this it's just like throbbing <sighs> lord i can't complain i'm still here lord i'm still here thank you jesus okay and i put my bonnet on on top of this little raggedy silk scarf. I like this thing, but every time I wake up, it'll be off. So, put my bonnet on top. And, and I go to sleep. Well, I don't go to sleep. I just be around the house or whatever. And I will go to Walmart or whoever. Just like this. If I'm going somewhere, like, important, then we're going to lay the edges, put the ponytail in, or whatever. So, because I don't be cute all the time. You know, only every now and then I be cute. I mean, you might be pretty because, you know, God made you pretty, but I'm talking about half slayed, laid, and all that stuff, ready to go. Yeah, so. Mm -mm. That's how I apply my version half for the So, that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.